the little flippy do haircut, the little alfalfa that the anime characters have. Uh, this trip uh, symbolizes uh, a, a playful innocence. When you have people who have this, they don't. They're unaware of their fuck up. They don't know they have shit sticking up in the back, and they're 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 occupied. They're too busy being fucking adorable. So they see that when you see this, it means it's a fucking adorable little an innocent character. The little flippy do haircut. You get you have to ignore it because they don't know about it, and it means they're innocent and cute. Oh, I'm very familiar with this one. The, the glitter background is uh, something I step into every time we record anime aneurysm. Matt doesn't like to show it. He, he, he chills out when the camera's off. But he's got these, he throws, he's got these, this fucking fan. I don't want to embarrass him, but he throws glitter into the fan. Because he fucking has a glitter party. He's having a fucking blast. So when you see glitter party going on in the background of anime characters, it means that, like, they're in fucking, like, they're fucking popping. They're just like, Oh, uh, it's like when you see like rappers popping champagne bottles. It's like the fucking like let's get this party started kind of thing. Like, fucking let's go. Fucking I'm I'm ready to shine. The empty alien eyes uh, represents the character fucked up. Like if I went to McDonald's and went to the drive and I was like, "Yo, give me some spaghetti," I would have big alien eyes because I realized. <gasps> I fucked up. I fucked up. I have big alien eyes. I'm embarrassed. And I realized that they don't serve spaghetti at McDonald's. Trust me. It's not on that secret menu shit either. It's it's This one's easy to get because the red cheeks also cross over into real life. Like when you're beating the meat or when you're having sexy time, you, you, you blush. You get like real like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, so you get like blushy and you get like, you, you, you know, romance time, you know, like you get, you get, bl guys, look at, look at your face in the mirror next time you're playing with your, your little dinghies or your little, your little clams. You get to look in the mirror and be like, oh shit, rock your side. I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I'm, I'm a red face. I'm pleasure town. Glass is like what the, that are whited out. It means you're fucking like you're a sinister man. You got fucking plans. You you got you're a sinister man with plans, and you you're always pushing them up. And you're like rubbing your hands together, and you're like <laughs> like a little fucking smug bitch laugh. Just <laughs> you got devil devilishness on the mind. You're gonna fuck somebody, not in the sexual way. You're gonna fuck somebody today. With your devilishness and sinister, uh, sinister in this. And it's always like, if you notice, it's always like some bitch character too. Like, you never see like a massive dude pushing up his glasses that are whited out. It's always like some like scrawny bitch with his whited out little bitch glasses. This trope is, uh, it shows you that a, a, a character has got some shit going on. Like, you got. Oh, I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. I don't. I don't have it together at this point. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know what fucking dark lines means. <laughs> you, <laughs> you have. You got dark lines, and it means the character's got shit going on. He's got. He's. He's a complex character. Okay, now listen to me. You got the character who's confident as fuck. You got. He's got the big chest. You got. He's. He's jacked. He's fucking Vin Diesel. You can't talk to him the way you want to talk to him because he'll he'll smack your face. But then if he's got the black lines, he's he, he's got some problems. Like he's got some issues going on at home. His kids aren't getting good grades at school. And Vin Diesel's wife isn't putting out. When the char when an anime character has a, a ball on the head like this, it usually uh comes after when they get a uh, little uh, a little pleasure on the head. Someone gives him a big old smooch, and that's like a head erection. You give a little look. Get, I'm gonna get close to the mic. I'm sorry. You give that on the head, and it's like, ooh, and you get like, like you see, it's like a head erection. You just.
Oh, blood noses. It's when, like, someone gets so stressed out. Okay, say if, like, Matt came over my house unannounced. I would be like... <laughs> like, blood would squirt out of my nose everywhere. Because, A, I wasn't ready. B, my cats get upset if unannounced visitors come over. They don't like it. And listen, I don't like that when they get stressed out. Because then the blood comes out of their nose. So when they get stressed out and Matt comes over my house unannounced, blood comes out of my nose. Because I wasn't expecting him. And I'm like... Ugh. Hey, pal, what you doing here? And, like, blood's come out of my nose. And blood's come out of his nose because he realized he fucked up. But when he realized he fucked up, that's when he has alien eyes. You see what I'm doing here? I'm going back. Matt would have alien eyes. I would have blood nose because we're both anime town boys now. So you can't, you can't mess with us. I used to wake up before, like, I started taking allergy pills. I used to wake up with fucking, like, crust like like a ring of crust around my nose and my eyes would be like like with fucking nastiness and just itchiness and awful fucking i want to rip my face off but listen guys what the bubble nose anime trope means is that this person has really bad allergies when you see someone with bad allergies they got bubbles coming out of their nose okay they're sick as fuck, and you gotta help them. You gotta feel sympathy, because I personally know what it feels like, and it's fucking awful. You got bubbles coming out of your nose, and you're like, you blow one side of your nose, and you hold the other, and you're like, <laughs> and it's fucking awful. And you got runny eyes, and your your nose, you can only itch it so many times before you just give up and want to fucking peel your socks and give them to your dad. It's so easy, happy-go-lucky, we are the wide or door, we didn't eat q q q q us, 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 Ohio! Remember that, remember that music video, Yada? They did this finger thing a lot, and it means, listen, guys, I'm telling you what it means. My friends, peace out, I, I love yous, but I got, I got other intentions, I'm gonna stick leaves over my genitals like Adam and Eve and I'm going to dance with the boys and you're never going to see it because I'm telling you peace out you think we're going but really I'm just going to dance with the boys in my Adam and Eve outfit <laughs>